greatest, greatest is not going anywhere. We're going to be looking at Google Sheets and see how best we can actually enter number, create pie, pie chart and all of that. All right. So let's jump on the PC. We're going to be looking at the instruction and see how best we can actually go through together. All right. First thing we want to look at here is how to use the browser to get Google Sheets, how to enter word and number in Google Sheets, how to do calculation in the sheet, how to create a pie chart in the sheet, how to do, how do I share the sheet to others, all right? So we're going to get in. The first thing you wanted to do is bring up the internet browser, all right? First thing you have to bring up the internet browser, guys, remember, this thing work with the internet, right? So we want to go right here to the nine dots. And if you are not signing, you have to sign in, right? So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to search. If you notice all of these apps here associated with Google, so I'm going to scroll down, right? Notice this is Google Doc, Google Sheet, and Google Slide, right? And this is what I want to look at Sheet, right? But if you notice all of these apps can actually shuffle, right? If I put first on here, Google Sheet, you notice I can actually make some shuffle. You notice that? Some nice little shuffle. Yes, all of these can shuffle. Notice I put it back in its place. If I move it, you notice know, something is flying to place. You come like this. Yes, and then we're going to click on it now. And by clicking on it, waiting on it to open. Right? Now we're going to go to the blank. Right? The blank one we want. So we're going to click on the blank. Right? And when the blank come up, we're going to look at the instruction as well. Is that all right? It's said no, is it blank? All right, let us see what is anything. All right, but the next thing that we're going to enter words in the sheet. All right, but before I enter the words in the sheet, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to explain a few of the things before. All right, if you notice here, I have numbers, numbers all the way down here, and word across. Right, so the, no, the word and the number make up the cell. Right, so if I put the cursor right out here, so notice this little box here, I'll put it right out here. Right here, see the name bar, it shows that I'm in C3. If I click it right there, it also shows me that I'm in A2. Anything that I type inside end up in the formula bar, right? So if I put that, you notice it end up here in the formula bar and all of that. So what I'm going to be doing now, right, if you notice right up here, it shows the untitled spreadsheet, so therefore you have to definitely put a name so if i click right here right i'm gonna type something in it here right so i'm gonna write match works right and see your best thing here to work and when i finish with that i want to press enter here if you notice this is the file tab right here edit view Right, I have the insert tab here, we have format, we have data, we have tools, we have admin, right? And all of these are some basic function. But what are these things? What is the purpose? Right, this is for undo and redo. And so you can actually print it. But when you click on file, right? What you will see when you click on file, right? You see all of this using new, import, make a copy, email, download, and all of that here, rename, right? You can actually publish to the web and all of that. When you go on edit, what you will see is just a redo, undo, cut, paste, and replace, right? You know this? You can actually delete a row and all of that. When you go on views, you can actually freeze a row, you add real line, range bar, and all of that. So at least you have an idea what these things have inside, right? You notice know row above, you can actually insert row above column to your right, left, I can put insert image, drawing, I can put in even equation right here. Notice different, different equation over here. When you go over here, max and all of that here. If you notice, if you go to format, notice with number, right? And it's a different, different stuff here. You can wrap text, picture, and all of this stuff, right? And when you go to data here, you notice you have the filter right here, you have the view, you can also create a view, range, and all of that. You can actually split the column. Right, all the way. Right, tools you can actually apply a simple. I can do a spell check right here. I can enable auto complete, right? And add that. Now you can actually add an app to this thing here. And this is what 
have been achieved and all of that. So now we have a basic understanding. Now we're going to add something inside here, right? So what I wanted to do, right? Let me try and type something here. I'm going to type here one, right? I'm going to go down with the cursor. Notice I press the down arrow. Notice you drop down. Anything and then where is this little box here? That's where we're gonna type the thing, right? And then we're gonna have bread. Right? Let me right there. And let me put something in there. Right, so over here, we're now going to add some figures, right? I'm going to put that inside here. Just going to put some random numbers, just like that. All right, so you can also use the top key in order to go to right, left, and all of that. So remember now, when you type a number, go to your right. When you type a word, it goes to your left. All right, so I'll put that right here. Therefore, I have this inside here, you know, but I want to do some calculation on this. How is it possible that we can do calculation in this year? Right? So, I'm going to add two more here. I'm going to go down here. And add one more here, right? So now we're going to look back on the instruction and see what. All right, the instruction, how do we calculate in this Right? So let me go back now. All right, so first you have to put the cursor right here. Now what this is right here, I have to go and do some calculation. Now. So I want to calculate 67, 87, and 65, right? So we can say equal, right? And then we can say 67, right? We can say 67 plus 87, 87, Plus sixty five, right? I press enter. You notice, you calculate it. All right, that is one way. I'm going to show you other way where you can calculate it. You can say equal S U M S U M. Hold on, let me go back. Press the end. You notice it bring up some different different function here, right, and then I'm going to put the bracket, right, so what we want to focus is now, now, so this is B, so we're going to say B1, so we want to say B1, right, and what is, to give you this, so I'm going to put the colon, the colon mean a range of cells, because all of these is just a range, so we're going to calculate all these range, right, so what we have so far, we have B1, then we're going to say D1, right? So we have D1 now, and then we're going to put back a bracket. I notice when I put back a bracket, you notice that the box come over everything. All right, so let me press enter. Notice we end up with the same figure. Right, very important. We end up with the same figure. If you notice over here, you see the formula bar. I'll show you exactly what we really take this. But if I want to calculate the rest, what would I do? If we continue with this? No. Let's put the cursor right here. You notice before my plus, and it will on the left side of the mouse that I touch by and just dry it down like that. When you dry it down, you notice it can create everybody else. Yes, it's very important. Yes. Can work, right? And if I try a different format, if I try one right there, right? And if I click outside here, and I click back on the one, and I put the cursor right here and I dry it down like that. Right, you notice a few one is it? Show you. All right, I'm going to try it in a different form. I'm going to try one there. All right, I'm going to come down with the box and I'm going to try two. All right, I'm going to come back up here at the one. I'm going to block both the one and the two. All right, and I'm going to put the cursor right here. I'm going to draw it down like that. All right, you know what? You notice the series one, two, three. Yes, it's very important. It's possible. Right, so if I come over here and I put 10 over here, right? 
And if I put 10 over here, right? And I draw it down like this. Draw it down like that. You notice what they see? It's just pure 10. Right. So if I come back over here and I put 10, right? Over can it like that? I put 10, right? And over here, so I put 20. Alright, I'm going to click back on it 10 now. When I click back on it 10 now, I'm going to black for it 10 and 20. Like that. Then I'm going to put the cursor right here. You notice it come across the same time. And I'm going to drag it down. You notice the sequence right here? Yes, it's very good. And let me see if it can work with the days of the week. So if you say Monday now. Alright, and we see exactly. Alright, so this is Monday, right? So. I click outside and I click back on it again. All right, so that I can get the super point. Enough. So if I click right here, let me see if I can. So I'll move it down and see exactly what it is. You notice the format here? It gives me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, let me try the week. All right, let me go for the week and see exactly. So click on the outside. I click back on the week. All right, I'm going to go to my right. I'm going to drag it to my right. Now I tell exactly. You notice? It gives you all a week. All right. But that's not what I really want. All right. Let me go there now. And put week one. All right. I'm going to put week one. And then we're going to see what exactly, what really takes place here. All right. So let me go again now. I'm going to try it. I'll go though. All right, you notice the sequence right here? Yes, very important. We go and we go and we go down there, right? So if I want to put January right down to March, to December, right? I'm going to put those D, A, N, right? For January, click outside and then I click off on it. I'm going to see if it's going to give me the same section. Look carefully, all right? I want to look at it, you know this? Feb, March, and all of that. So this sequence works. It also works in Microsoft Excel Sheet and it's also working in Google Sheet. Right? So teachers you can actually exploit. Very, very interesting. Right? And so how to create a pie chart in the sheet. Right? Very interesting. Right? So we're going to create that pie chart now. And I'll have to create a pie chart, right? All of these figures are going to black. So we're clicking right here. Right? We're going to put the cursor here and come right across here. Right? So let me I'm black hat again. Right? I'm going to do all of this. Now, since I block everything right here, so I want to click on the word insert. When I click on the word insert, I come all the way down here. Yeah, let me go back here. You notice right here, this is a chart. When I click on the chart, definite what will happen to which the display. Right, that's good, good, good. This self is a chart, right? But this is not what we want. We want a pie chart. This is a color. So come all the way over here, say notice. Click on this little pointer right here. I can actually scroll up. Scroll up. Right? So what you're looking for is a chart, right? Like this, we're looking for it now. Scroll up, you notice you find different, different charts. So these are the pie chart that we're looking for, right? And then we click on the pie chart, you notice. Yes, definitely. All right, so when you don't know, you can actually close that. All right, so this is self no. If you want to move it, you just click back on it. Then there you go, and you can actually move it, put it right here. If you want to size it up, that's a can come like that. Check them just like that. Yes, just like that. So you can just explore. Explore it on our that. Very, very important. All right, let's look at the next step and see what it is. Next step now, say that, how do I share the sheet with others, all right? Let's just dive into that. The notes at the top here, it says share, right? When I click on the word share, what example, what exactly what is this? You notice? You should share with others, you share with people and group, right? But I notice the email I just come up immediately. Here, we can actually generate a link from here. Right, and if I come like this, I can actually share it to the particular person, so it's to the person, and all of that. So, it's very important. 
right? That you observe all of these rules and you have everything good. I hope you like this particular video. So subscribe, subscribe, please, and all of that.